This is a computer I tried to assemble with mainboard and a graphic card and fans and uh, tools to uh, put it on. Assemble it in the in the in the chassis or frame or you have the points where you can have the Phillips screws mounted. Here you see in the back that it's correct. The, spectacles are there and uh, here I find the places where to put the um, screws in so I think it is about six screws that is uh, there now we need to put it on again this is in the front end of the uh, computer case uh, four screws and it is um, also in the back rear end of the computer I put it in so that it can be the right way here is the fans connectors for the fans uh, one is with a longer cable that is in the front and I put it in on the main main board here we have the front panel USB and it's connected with three Phillips screws but here you have a lot of wires that I try to uh, connect so that it doesn't move all over the computer uh, about two uh, tapes of this uh, Phillips screws and here you have the front panel I put the wires in to the computer and I try to show how I do it. I put the middle screw first and then the next, which is in place. Now you can see that the wires are going here and there and I try to assemble them in a good way so that it doesn't float all over the computer. Now you can see the fan, you can see the connectors which is put in uh, the front end of the main board, mother board. Try to stick the wire where it's not so much awkwardly positioned. This is the connector for the USB onto the main board. So this is more or less in the center of the main board. Here is the, uh, I think it is the speakers. That is in the rear end. We can see that everything is in place regarding the front panel. The only front front uh, is needed to be put in place here is the uh, main power supply I put it in the wrong way but it's uh, just uh, how I did it it can be put both way but it is the only right way to put it with the fan down under here I can see four Phillips screws here too now the main uh, main power supply is already in place there you go here I try to sort out different cables some are to the uh, CD-ROM and the other is for the main power supply uh, here I assemble those that are going to the different uh, discs and here I put on some wire to that is going to the main board here you have the the biggest broadest uh, connector to the main board and uh, I just try to push it beneath so that it doesn't bend the whole board and uh, 
one of the wire is going to the graphic card but this is going to ah, put put it on the cd rom i show also the place where you can see where the connectors for cd rom and hard drives are put here you have the graphic card with the connectors on the main board here is the slot for that uh, graphic card uh, put everything away so that it can be rightly fit uh, with a Phillips tightening screw now we check that everything is in order uh, this is the power for the this is the wrong power but here you have the right for the graphic card the other one is going to the top of the close to the cpu the here i try to take the uh, here you have the windows i I show where to put the Windows um, Windows uh, disk, and uh, here you have the larger store disk. You can have many disks on it as long as you have connectors. Maybe 550 power supply is a little bit weak. Now we put the panel in place. Those are clips that you can position the CD-ROM on the right place. Now here you have the end of the video. That is going to look like it's done by a professional. Here you have the last uh, connecting screws to this thank you for your attention my friends the end of the